Greetings, everyone. Welcome and welcome back again. It's time to step into the lion's den. Now, um, today we're going to be doing, honestly, today I'm marathoning Mark because I have quite a few requests for Mark. Um, so I'm going to start off with a Mark reading by himself. And then we're going to go into um, Mark X, um, I guess, Super M members. And just to see how they, uh, um, how the cards will tell me they interact or how they're feeling about each other. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. If you hear me sniffling a lot, that's because I just tried on some contacts and it made my eyes and nose run a little bit. So like, you're probably going to hear me like really sniffle a lot through this. So just, that's just the heads up. Um, but yeah, um, this is going to be, of course, released on YouTube. Um, and for, uh, the ship readings with Mark that come after that, the, those, of course, are going to be on Patreon exclusively. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started after I readjust this camera a little bit because it's a little far back for me. I think that's good. I think. No, I'd like to, um, okay, yeah, so this is good enough for me, so let's go ahead, um, if you're new here, uh, I don't know if I've already said it, welcome and welcome back again, it's time to step into the lion's den, um, the first deck we usually start off is the Caroline Mays archetype cards, um, this is what we use to determine, um, what kind of, what's the strongest personality traits of a particular idol. Now, these cards will come upright and in reverse. And they have um, positive meanings and also uh, meanings that could be very negative. So if you don't want a reading that potentially may paint your idol in a negative light or more of highlight some of the more negative traits about this idol, then please feel free to skip this part of the reading. I am only going to be reading what the cards are saying and trying to let you know what I'm feeling and seeing. So if you don't want to hear any, like if you want to hear only positive things about them, please skip past that this part of the reading or reversed cards. Just skip on past. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into Mark. <sighs> okay. All right, Mark. NCT's Mark, Super M's Mark. What's your personality like? Something tried to come out. What's your personality like? What do you like? Who are you, Mark? I'm pretty sure that's the story. Yeah, that is the storyteller card. Um, yeah. Even in, with my eyes closed, as I was shuffling this with my eyes closed, I was seeing Mark, Mark's smile. <laughs> He's kind of mischievous. Okay. Um, Alright, I think I'm about to end it. See if I can get one more card. If not, we're just going to work with what we got. Okay, thank you so much. What is going on with my cat? I'm so sorry if you hear that. Oh, I got an extra card. I didn't even know I had six. We have quite a few negative cards. Ooh. Wasn't expecting that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Like I said before, I preface this with a warning that there, you know, sometimes are cards that turn out in reverse and they do talk about negative attributes of these idols or people. So if you do not want to hear them, this is the time to go ahead and skip. I may remember to leave a timestamp or, or just skip till you see a new deck of cards on the table. So first we have Storyteller in reverse. It says, making up tales that harm others. Um, 
but this is talking about Mark probably having the tendency to exaggerate stories, um, to maybe uh, lie about certain experiences. Um, I do when I when I pulled that card, I was seeing Mark smiling in my head, so it's almost as if like for him they're like very funny stories. Um, you know, they're they're very funny, very amusing stories. They are stories to make people laugh. Um, but I'm not really sure how funny these stories actually are because I don't know who these stories are about or what the stories are about. So because it's coming out in reverse saying that these stories may harm others, it's talking about that these stories or lies that he may tell could potentially be you know, um, really actually damaging the image of the person he's talking about, the group of people he's talking about, um, you know, maybe the job that he's worked for. So it's, he has to be really careful about things that he says, even if he says it in a joking manner, because these could actually come back to bite him in the butt. Um, it could be something that is just, just completely inappropriate and just ends up harming him or his group, like, it's just something that could backfire, so he does have to be careful about that. The next card we have is Heroine. This is, well, Hero. <laughs> this isn't a lighter attribute. It says passion for journey and personal empowerment. So, you know what I'm feeling? Like, Mark, even though Mark is, like, really tired of being, um you know, used for all of these different groups and all of these projects. I'm also feeling like there's a sense of pride in knowing that he's so um, important to the company that they want him in everything. Like, they need him to be in everything. So there is almost a pride of that. And also, I think he quite enjoys the opportunities given to go places and do different things and try different things. So there's, you know, there is that kind of feeling that's going up, uh, um, that is around him. Definitely loves the adventure, definitely loves the, um, the uh, opportunities given. Next, we have the Alchemist in Reverse. The Alchemist in Reverse says misuse of power and knowledge that come through spiritual practice. Again, don't know. I don't know if he's religious or not. Please let me know if he is or if he is not. Um, but this is talking about, you know, if he is religious, he could be using that religion to harm others, you know, intentionally or unintentionally. That's the thing about this. You have to remember that sometimes things can happen, can be very unintentional. They can have a very negative trait and it can be unintentional, like the storytelling. He could be intentionally trying to make people laugh, intentionally trying to make people feel good and it could work but not understanding that maybe the story that he's talking about and the people in his story he's probably damaging their image or he's probably hurting their feelings so please understand that even though their cards are in are in the negative and these are you know talking about the more negative attribute of this trait that sometimes these people don't mean to be causing harm you know that doesn't mean it doesn't cause harm it just means that's not the intention okay so, you know, he, if he is religious, it could be talking about his actual religious spiritual practices that can end up being a little bit toxic for other people, um, you know, enforcing your, in religion or making comments about somebody else's life and linking it back to your religion kind of things like that, that end up doing a little more harm than it does good. Uh, we have child orphan in reverse. It says feeling abandonment that stifles maturation, seeking inappropriate surrogate families. This is talking about how Mark is very young-minded, very, um, and it has a, a lot of innocence to him. Um, and like I said, he does like to travel, and he, he takes pride in traveling and going around places and seeing different people. But it's also talking about because he's young, because he's um, he wants to hold on to that pride that he's getting of being chosen to... Um, basically be everywhere being very important to people the people that he keeps closest to him can be very can tend to be toxic he he tries to find people who uh and attach himself to be people to people that may not really um help him grow to his higher and better self you know what i mean so 
he has to be careful about the people he lets stay very close to him. He has to be careful about the people he's learning from. He has to be careful about the things that he's learning in general. Because it's coming from these, these people that he's deciding to keep close to him that he doesn't need personally in his life. That's what I'm getting from the cards. We have Del uh, Delante and... Um, Del Delante... Oh God, I never can pronounce this. Um, and the shadow attribute, it says, pretension to much deeper knowledge than you actually possess. Um, and again, this all links back to Mark's, Mark having so much experience. Mark having so much um, experience working with a lot of people. And this also links back to storytelling. It's almost like Mark can, um, yeah, all of this is linked, and it's almost like Mark can tell stories to, let's say, the younger ones about how it is working with the older ones, and, you know, either gas things up to be more than it was, or, or even, or even try to make things so much harder than it actually was, just to show how much he has to keep up with people, and, um, even try to impart knowledge onto, um, others, or the younger ones, um, impart knowledge that he's learned from working with other people, uh, but he still hasn't really actually learned that much. So it's almost like exactly what it says, pretension to more knowledge than he actually possesses. Because he has so much experience, um, he believes that he now knows, you know, and can teach more than he actually does know. The next card we have is Priest in Reverse. Again, we're getting something about religion. So it's in this shadow attribute. It says, violates the trust of your spiritual community, seduced by your own spiritual role. So again, I don't really know anything about Mark's religion. Um, so please feel free to um, inform me about what's going on there. Um, is he Christian? I think he may be Christian. I'm not sure. But please feel free to let me know what's going on there. If it's like... Uh, Christianity, whatever whatever religion that it is, if he has any whatsoever. Either way, um, even if any neither of these are religious, is talking about imparting his own beliefs and his own belief systems onto other people. Okay. Last we have Hedontist in reverse, and it says pursues pleasure to the detriment of health, indulges at the expense of others. So this talks about uh, Mark potentially being kind of self-serving. Um, so I think Mark, I don't know if he's, Mark, Mark is the youngest, no, Lucas is the youngest in Super M. Um, but yeah, Mark basically is talking about Mark taking the power that he has of his favoritism and kind of just running with it, you know. It's Again, I don't feel like anything of this is a deliberate, you know, I'm trying to harm anybody or, or hurt anybody in any type of way. I'm definitely seeing, though, like, kind of spoiled. That's what I'm getting, spoiled. Very spoiled baby, very spoiled man, um, you know, and he's, and he's going to use his opportunities that are given to him to get what he wants, to do what he wants, you know, to enjoy things how he wants to enjoy them. Um, he's he's very spoiled. That's what I'm getting. Very spoiled, very hand-fed. Um, and so sometimes him pursuing that pleasure of, you know, getting what he wants and kind of taking advantage of that favoritism can end up, you know, again, causing trouble or causing harm for those around him. So he's very much, he definitely has a very childlike energy around him, like almost just very a spoiled, a, spo a spoiled kid. Um, just a spoiled funny guy is kind of what I'm feeling from him. And so, you know, he just has to start to be more aware of, like, any inconveniences he may start causing other people around him um, because of his own personal habits. He just has to start being aware of that and potentially trying to make changes or adjusting and making sure that he doesn't step on anybody else's toes in the process of getting what he wants and doing what he likes. Okay, so this is a personality reading, and you can find the priceless things available on my uh, channel in the community section 
Um, personality readings range from, I believe, 25 for an audio reading and 35 for a video. So if you want a video recording of this, that's the prices. But you can go ahead and check my price listings. I have a whole bunch of other readings listed there um, for you to check out. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next segment. And I'm going to go ahead and pull some oracles from Mark. And just basically see what's go what the energy around him is. And um, you know, yeah, that's the next that's the next segment. In the meantime, please go ahead and feel free to check out my Patreon. On Patreon, I do so many more readings. Um, Patreon also gets exclusive readings. So if you're interested in seeing the dynamic um, between Mark and Kai, Mark and Becca, and Mark and Taeyang, or any uh, ship or friendship reading, and that's what I mean when I say ship, I mean both romantically or friendship, because I just read it as how they, you know, like each other and how, um, and I don't really try to guide the, the, outcome like if it comes out as friendship it's friendship if it comes out romantic it's romantic so that's why I just leave it as a ship reading if you're interested in those those are on my channel uh, on patreon sorry <laughs> on my patreon also on my patreon I do um I send out personal readings every month um so if you're interested in that please go check that out all right and there are people moving next door, so I know you're going to hear that noise. Very sorry about that. Okay, so energy around Mark. Energy around Mark. Energy around Mark. Let's, let's get some cards from Mark. You know, these cards, this deck, like, almost never jumps. Uh, that's too many. That's way too many cards. Oh no, it's not that many. So I'm going to put these on this. And I'm going to go ahead and leave these like that. Did not know my lamp was so far into the camera. Okay. So we have sun. It says paint the sun back into your sky. Pride cycles and unleash your creativity. I believe the last time when I did a Super M reading um, that I was talking about them eventually getting um, per, uh, creative freedom. And I'm seeing that specifically around Mark. Um, so even with paint the sun back into your sky, it's almost like, um, it, it's uh, almost to me like a hey, like, you know, things may look dark now, but don't worry. Like, put you're going to be able to make things better because they're about to put that power into your hands. We also have pride and cycles. Um, pride, I rem remember I was telling you guys in the personality reading that he actually has a kind of pride for literally being overworked. It's almost like, you know, man, if they want me so much, I must be doing something right. So he takes pride in this. Um, in the in the cycles, like I said, in in these cycles of him being moved to different groups all the time, he takes pride in that. Even with the creativity, he he takes pride in being that talented or that sought after that he has to be this talented because he's sought after for every group. This is just the kind of energy he has here. <laughs> and, you know, he's a Leo, so I know this is translating to ego. I know this is a lot of ego. Um, he has to have a lot of ego. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I, I am thinking, I am seeing, like, he's probably gonna, I don't know if he already, he must already write his raps, I'm pretty sure he does, but probably have more, um, writing credits soon, I don't know how soon, but he may start getting more writing credits for things, um, yeah, and, and definitely more freedom to do what he wants. Okay, I'm going to continue to pull more oracles. Again, people are moving next door. I'm so sorry if you hear all that noise. Um, oracle readings are also on my channel. I believe, if I'm not, if, I, if I'm correct, 
I believe it's again 25 for uh, yeah 25 for audio and 35 for a video so please email me and let me know which one you want at um, the lines then tarot at yahoo.com so yeah if you're interested okay so mark 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 yeah, so even under the sun, we have the moon saying you'll be guided through darkness, which is why it's like paint the sun back into your sky. Like, don't don't focus so hard on what has, like, what's going on now because there are good things coming. We have the Griffith that says honor and good luck right under pride, right? Right under pride. We have the sun again. The, all this fire for this fire sign. Um, it says your pre your perseverance is rewarded, and we also have queen love and prosperity. Yeah, Mark is honestly Mark is just going to grow. Mark is going to continue to grow. Mark is going to continue to evolve. Mark is just he's just you know there's nothing really stopping Mark's momentum just yet. Um, nothing but good things for Mark. Okay, nothing but good things for Mark. Um, but yeah, this is like this oracle reading. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the very last segment of this reading, and um, I'm gonna um, basically see what's the next best, biggest thing to come for Mark in his career. Okay. Um, I forgot I was going to pull one of these cards. Hold on, one more work. Cool. From Mark. Vulnerability. It says, listen to your vulnerable feelings as they contain wisdom and inspiration. Then pray for the strength to focus on your priorities no matter what. Yeah, Mark has a lot of tasks that are still ahead of him. Um, Mark right now is in a rough place, but like I said, the sun is coming out for him. There's going to be a lot of positive things that are going to come for him. So it's just like, you know, hey, I know things are dark right now. Go ahead and listen to it. Take that in. Write about it. You know, Mark is going to have um, probably some good music to come. You know, honestly, Mark should probably get a solo project. He should because if he if he takes advantage of his emotions and actually writes about it, he can go really far. And he is going to go really far. Um, I don't know if I really want to use this Nightmare Before Christmas deck. By the way, I have a new deck coming in today and I'm pretty excited about that. But let me, um, I don't know. I'll try using this Nightmare Before Christmas deck. I don't really read Pip decks like that that well but I'll try because I just I brought it and I'm like I have to use it I have to use it because I'm not returning it <laughs> so like talk to me why am I in my yard I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to figure out why these people in my damn daggone yard. Okay, let me um, let me just focus on this. Okay, what's the next biggest thing to happen for Mark? Okay, these are two cards. Mm. So, like I said, like, I don't know what is personally going in, going on with Super M from Mark. Maybe it is just the the songs or whatever, um, but something is going to change, and I feel like it, it may lead to Mark's, um, Mark having more freedom or creative freedom, 
And um, it's almost like whatever he writes or creates will blow up, like, in a good way. And Mark's going to be sitting really pretty. I mean, he's he's going to he's gonna gain a lot from that. Um, what in the world was that? Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. My neighbors are really loud. My neighbors are really loud today. I'm sorry. Okay, so, like, um... Yeah, and he's going to be, you know, working a lot, getting a lot of uh, money from it. It's almost going to become a really bad habit. Like, he's going to start obsessing over overworking himself. Um, because once he starts to reap the benefits and rewards of that... Uh, oh, my God. Y'all hear them? Oh, my God. Once he starts to reap the benefits of um, of that, he's going to keep working for those benefits, almost overworking. Um, and it, even with this hermit in reverse, it's like even with those times of rest, he's going to come out of it. He's not like he's not going to take that time for himself. Um, yeah, it, it's it's like. He's not even going to listen to anybody when they, they tell him, like, yo, dude, you need to chill. Like, you need you need to relax. You need to relax. Um, it's like eventually he will, he'll, he'll work out the, the literal work balance of it. Like, he'll, he'll figure out, like, how to sort of manage. Um, but... <sighs> He may lose touch with um, some of the people he wanted to hold close. So those are that's the next 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 oh girl I can't speak next biggest thing to happen for Mark is this it's it's another kind of jump in his growth uh, his personal growth um, more responsibilities um, overworking himself uh, falling out of touch with those he wanted to be close to. Um, I don't think this is going to be something, I don't know if this is going to be something that's going to be like, oh, um, on the news or something like, um, but, because it seems like it's a very personal kind of thing, so, yeah, that's what I have for Mark, um, this is a tower reading, I also offer these on my channel, uh, 25, uh, for audio and 35 for video. So if you're interested in that, email me at thelinesinterra.yahoo.com. Remember, as I said, please check out my Patreon if you're interested. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Tumblr. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know, guys. Like, what do you think is going on with Mark? Like, what are your what are your feelings about Mark? You know. Like, do y'all think he's like? Do y'all think he's in over his head? Do y'all think he's gonna he's gonna power through this? Like, what do y'all think? And I will see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Bye.